our beautiful fused glass tiger lily. I made it using fusible glass, a copper tube, a kiln, and creative paradise mold. The pattern that we're going to use to make this large lily is similar to the pattern found in our fused glass pattern book on page 9, a smaller lily. You can use this pattern, just enlarge it 150 percent. Or you can go to our website and find that we have already enlarged the pattern and we have the firing schedules as a PDF on our website. What I did, what I like to do with my flower patterns, is I yet like to cut out plastic chef mats and use the, the patterns on the glass and outline it. That way we have these patterns around forever. They're not going to break and I won't throw them away. This is the patterns on the chef pad. This is the glass that we're going to use to make the lily. This is Spectrum's Spirit Glass Sedona. It's a beautiful piece of glass. It has larger patterns to one side and smaller, thinner stripes to this side. I like to make the small petals out of the thin side and the large petals out of the thicker pattern side. To cut out the patterns, I like to use the templates, place them on the smooth white side of the spirit glass, trace around the pattern, and then I like to use the ice pick grip to follow a pattern. I just try not to use too much pressure. Look down your handle to the slit where the cutter is and follow the Sharpie line. Just enough pressure that you are making a score on the glass. Uh, once I've made the score, I'll put my writing plier on the end of the score, apply a little bit of pressure, and break the glass away. I'll do the same thing with this line until I have cut out all of the petals. I cut out the small triangle petals from using Spectrum's Amazon Green all the glass used is compatible and fusible System 96 glass. After I have the petals cut out, I will spray this part of this petal with Elmer's glue and then use mosaic nippers and nip little pieces of dichroic and put them in a pattern on the bottom part of the petal. In addition to cutting out the petals for the flower, I cut out some leaves. I used the skinny pattern, the skinny petal pattern, and cut one piece of Amazon Green and a matching piece of Clear Irid. What I did to make these petals is I placed them on one of our texture pads with the veins in it. I sprayed it with MR97, which is a glass separator, and then I placed the petals, the pieces of glass, with the irid side down, the wire in between, and the Amazon green on top of the wire. I took this to a full fuse. I have my petals cut out, my dichroic pieces arranged on the petals and I'm going to arrange in the kiln. I usually will build this in the kiln. I put a piece of thin fire paper down and then I arrange the petals like figure one in the diagram. I'm going to put the green triangle petals this way with the blunt end facing in and I will arrange the long skinny ones on every other crack. This is our newest mold in our Cone Former collection. These molds were released previously with our Fused Glass Flower Book and they create uh, lilies and dandelions. This is the new one, GM139. It's the Extra Large Cone Former and that's the mold that we're going to use to make our Extra Large Lily today. We have a previously fused blank and you'll see it's a nice tack fire. Got a little dimension in it. 
and a hole still in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place it, I treated the mold with MR97, which is a glass separator, and now I'm going to put the mold in the kiln and I'm going to place the glass on the center of the top of the mold and heat it Now that we've slumped our beautiful tiger lily, we're going to add it to a copper tube as a stem. What you'll need to do this is a quarter inch copper tube, similar to what you can buy to put water into an ice maker, some washers of various sizes, that size will depend on the hole in your flower, a number eight wood screw, some 20 gauge copper wire and a pipe cutter and needle nose pliers. The first thing you need to do is assess the hole in your lily. Everybody's lily hole is going to be a different size depending on how you fused your glass. Mine is the size of about an inch washer and so I'm going to put an inch washer on the top part to hold the lily onto the stem. I'm going to use a rubber washer on the glass area and follow it up with the metal washer on top. I have used about four to five inches of the 20 gauge copper wire to create stamens for the inside of my lily. I cut the copper wire and then wound a, a little section around this screw. This is going to, when I screw this into the tube, it's going to hold my copper wires into place. I'm going to need a washer for the back side of the flower so that the flower doesn't just fall down onto the copper tube. And this washer is a little bit smaller than my forward washer. I have a felt pad that you can buy for underneath coasters or other things to make sure they don't scratch your furniture. I punched a hole in it with a paper punch so that it makes a little felt pad underneath my washer. Something cool happens when you cut the copper tube with a pipe cutter. The pipe cutter works like this. You continue to turn the pipe cutter as you go around to cut the pipe. You tighten it and tighten it and turn around until your tube is cut. It creates a little flange on the center of this copper tube. This flange acts as a thread for our screw. I always pre-screw the screw into the hole before I put the glass on there to make sure it's the right size. If the hole needs to be made a little bit larger, I'll use a needle nose plier to make it a little bit bigger. But we want it to be big enough that it fits in but small enough that it acts as a thread for the screw. You can see it going in here. So now what I'll do is I'll put this rubber washer in the center of the lily and put the large metal washer with the screw in it and the copper wires on the screw into the hole like so and then I will put my this can be a little bit tricky because everything wants to fall apart I'm going to put my felt pad and my washer on this side and then I'm going to start to put the copper tube onto the screw you don't want to over tighten this screw because we don't want to apply too much pressure to the glass. And that rubber washer and the felt washer will help a bit, but it's important that you do not over tighten at this point. I'm going to tighten it until the copper stamens start to get squeezed down under my screw head. It starts, I can start to feel a little bit of pressure, and that is about where I'm going to stop.
I'm going to use some Elmer's glue and some medium grain sunflower opal frit by your Boris and hide my washer. I'm just going to apply a little bit of the glue where I want the frit to go. Now that we have the lilies on the copper tubes, I add the fused glass leaves by wrapping the included wire around the copper tube and put them in a nice sturdy vase because there is a little bit of weight here and enjoy the beauty. Mm -hmm.